Today, we are going to be unboxing this package from Masmudi Sweets. Everything is made in Tunisia and they have a North American distribution center. So everything comes to Montreal and then they disperse from there. So I'm so excited. The packaging is so beautiful. Like the ribbon with gold on it. I already recorded my first video, so you can see some open sweets on the side. And the first package I opened was kind of like a variety of pack. It had so many different styles, colors, shapes, and textures. I feel like this is a great box to get if you want to share with lots of people and try a little bit of everything. The next box, these were absolutely stunning. Like they honestly looked too good to eat. And I don't know who designs these sweets, but they deserve a raise. And I also want to say the packaging on these is really incredible. Everything stays in place and nothing comes damaged. Tunisian sweets will use rose and orange flower extracts and this box smelled heavenly. As soon as I opened this box, I could smell the chocolate and it was delicious. I was not prepared for how delicious this box smells. It smells so good right now. I saved the biggest box for last and this was so sticky. They also included this hazelnut spread, some shakshuka, harissa, and a carrot spread. And I'm currently fasting for Ramadan, which means I can't taste test any of these treats yet. But once we have iftar and we break our fast, I'm going to be doing a taste test and I will see you in a couple hours. So I'm going to try the sweets that I opened earlier for the video. And to try is the Joya. I think that's how you say it. It's this one, it has pistachios on it. Looks like this. It's definitely lots of nuts. It has almonds, hazelnuts, pistachios, walnuts in it. Bless almond. I've had this before and it's so good. It has a very distinct like rose taste and smell to it. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna pronounce this? Kaak, kaak, medfur mint, which is braided mint kaak. Mm. The mint is so strong in that, but I absolutely love mint. So that one is really good. Next is this one. When I was setting them up, this one is all I could think about because it smells so much like coffee and I'm dying for coffee. This one is Caribia Pistache. Pistache. I probably said that wrong too. This one has a much drier consistency, which is why you have sweets with tea, but it's very good. It has like a sweet undertone of, I would say almond more than pistachio. This one, and there's a whole walnut on it. Roulette Nox Pica. Nuts walnut balls is what it's called. Three layers. I'm gonna bite the walnut down the middle. That has a more neutral taste to it. I don't really taste of the nuts has walnut hazelnut and almond but i don't taste it as much i taste a tiny bit of the rose flavor kaak royal pistachio and it's so cute because the pistachios literally look like little hearts it's like a little donut with pistachio hearts I would say so far, that one is my favorite. Jasmine pistachio. It is so beautiful. The amount of detail in this is absolutely crazy. Asian sweets are so pretty, you almost don't even want to eat them. That one has a really, really beautiful jasmine flavor to it. I would say that one now is my number one favorite. Last one that I'm going to try tonight is Biscuit Noisette or Bashkutu. This smells so good. <laughs> when I was recording it, I literally wanted to eat the entire thing. This reminds me of like a cookie, but it's not as sweet as a Canadian cookie. 
would be so perfect with tea if you wanted something light minty i still have a lot more to try so the next time you see me i'm gonna be wearing a different outfit because i don't want to eat too many sweets at once i will check in tomorrow and we'll try round two of the sweets these are the ones that i picked today to try the first ones that i'm going to try is the samsa fondant noisette or the hazelnut fondant samsa this smells so good when i was recording i'm so excited for it this tastes exactly like a ferrero rocher but way better crunchy outside and then a super soft filling the next one is corne de gazelle the gazelle horn which is this white one definitely has a florally essence to it and i think that is the orange blossom in it and it has like a center kind of like nougat almost it's much lighter definitely not as sweet as the first one I have some mint tea so we're gonna take a quick tea break Cac you you amand i've had this before and it reminds me of like a little honey almond donut and the almonds give it like a little bit of crunch brioyet almonds or an almond roll It reminds me of like almond butter instead of peanut butter, almond butter and a thin little wafer. That one would be really good. Dipped in chocolate. Everybody knows you can't have Tunisian sweets without mint tea. This one is Hersa and I have a feeling it's got lots of honey in it. This tastes like the almond filling inside of the almond croissants here, and it is so good. I thought this one would be a lot more crunchy, but it's definitely soft, almost like a cake. This one is really, really incredible. And the last one, Samsa Pistachio. The pistachio on the outside and pistachio filling and there's a light crunch from the wafer. Overall, I would definitely say one of my favorites is the hazelnut samsa and also the hersa. It's the last day of tasting all of the sweets. Some of these I have had before, but we're gonna do a review on camera. So first off, we're gonna start with the Zlevia. We have red and yellow. I don't know if there's a difference in taste between the two, but we're gonna see. It's very sweet, not my type of sweet, and it's really, really syrupy, the yellow one. There are two different flavors, but not my type of sweet. Do a samsa. I think these are my favorite type. I like them because they're crunchy and they're not too sweet. And this one has some pistachio on the outside. It like balances it out. Bakloa almond. They're so sticky. These ones I like because they're really light and they're kind of fluffy. And it does have a really nice almond flavor to it. Bear with me. Makruda Kiroen. This reminds me of like a cinnamon cookie, but not like a crunchy cookie, like a soft cookie. And noisette, which is a hazelnut samsa. Very similar to the hazelnut roll. Next we have this. This reminds me of like a gumdrop. This one is a boulette bay almond. 
some sort of like rose or like floral flavor to it. I don't know if I taste the almond. Save the best for last. This one I always have trouble pronouncing, but this is a Samsa Fondant Zugu. I probably did that wrong, but it is so tasty. Crunchy wafer, and then the sweetness of the white chocolate with the very, very distinct Zugu flavor. Well, that is the end of the taste testing of the Mass Moody Sweets haul. I'm going to rank my top five favorites from all of the sweets. And then I'm also going to link some of the video footage that I created for them um, at the end of this. Thank you so much for watching my taste testing, my haul, my unboxing and my work that I created for them. I'm sure I will be back soon with another one. Until next time, thank you so much.